Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I call Jonathan Young. Thank you, sir. I'm very pleased to stand in support of this bill uh, under the name of the Honourable Amy, Amy Adams, Minister of Justice. Sir, um, we have heard a lot of uh, rhetoric today um, about uh, corruption, bribery, and using terms like that. Uh, and so even the previous speaker uh, made a comment that he felt that the minister was giving way. Sir, what is, needs to be known is that this issue of facilitation payments are not being authorised by this bill. They have been lawful in New Zealand for many years. In fact, this bill tightens and narrows uh, the application of them. Sir, so the, uh, the previous speaker, and I think in his first or second reading speech, made a uh, comment that uh, this is normal practice in many countries of the world uh, where facilitation payment, a small payment, to facilitate a service takes place. And so we can live in our own little glass bubble. We can live in our high moralistic uh, world here and never be able to transact business in some of those other countries without those facilitation payments would be at the end of the queue. I remember the very first time that I, as a young man, went to the United States of America and paid a tip for service. What is acceptable, what is acceptable in, to, in that culture was foreign to us. And so I didn't like it. But I've come to understand, sir, that that has become more and more acceptable when we show appreciation for service. And we do it, sir, in New Zealand quite often. So what's happened in this bill is that this issue around facilitation payments has been narrowed and tightened quite considerably to what existed before under a Labor government. Sir, and it's very uh, high and mighty of them to crow from the rooftop on this issue when we actually are doing something more about it because we understand that in the global world of trade, progress is being made. So we are ensuring that it can be applied only in situations where un no undue benefit accrues to the person involved. This is what the Minister said in the committee stages of this bill. And in situations where businesses must record and keep detailed records at any of any such payments made to ensure that we get the balance right. And this is the balance between ensuring proper high standards of business practice in New Zealand and protecting innocent New Zealanders against unintentional criminalisation as they transact business across this world. <laughs> sir, and, sir, I believe that for businesses who are going to nations of the world where facilitation payment is normal business practice, then we need to put protections around our people that, according to New Zealand law, they are not criminalised for entering into normal business practices. I believe, sir, we've got this balance right. I commend the good work of the Minister in this bill, and, uh, sir, I commend it to the House.